Well, very well put. Uh, Very, very well put, uh, Simon. Well, that could well be that. Uh, None of us knows. I've asked uh, Mr. Farage. He didn't respond to me, so I have no idea uh, why the bank did this. But if ever you needed an argument against central bank digital currencies, if ever you needed an argument against the cashless society, this is it. For those uh, abroad, uh, Nigel Farage, uh, the leader of the anti-EU movement, which uh, won a referendum and took Britain out of the EU, has peremptorily been cancelled by his bank uh, after being with them some 25 years. I I believe that I know who the bank is and I tweeted it. I won't repeat it because it hasn't been confirmed, uh, but I see no reason to resile from it. It certainly hasn't been denied. But this bank, after 25 years banking for Farage, who's not a poor man, so I guess a lot of money uh, in his account has passed through their coffers and earned them a fair few quid uh, in, in bank charges and, uh, and, uh, and, and all the rest. So uh, they peremptorily closed his account, which means, of course, because once one bank has closed your account, particularly one with a significant amount of money in it, which I'm inferring for the purposes of argument, his does, what other bank is going to touch you? What other bank is going to say, ah, Bank X kicked you and your XXX thousands of pounds out, but we'll take you in. They're not, of course. They'll, uh, they'll go from the uh, age-old principle, no smoke without fire and all that, And lo and behold, Nigel Farage, one of the most famous men in the country, a very highly paid guy in television and before that in radio, and the current news presenter of the year in Britain, they obviously don't watch this show, uh, is without a bank account. 